We want positive 2021 vibes. <laughs> I have given this advice out to so many people so many times. Wow, I am a mess. <laughs> Never in a million years would I think that I'd actually go for it. The last four goals are probably some of my favorite goals I have set for myself. Hey everyone, it's Caroline and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my goals for 2021. By the time this video is up, it's already going to be 2021 and... I don't know whether to be excited or nervous. Feeling a little bit of both right now. Honestly, going into 2021, I'm just going to try to keep a positive mindset and hopefully some of these goals that I have here are going to help me increase that positive mindset within myself. So I'm hoping this video can give you guys some ideas if you are struggling to come up with any goals for the new year or if you're trying to come up with any New Year's resolutions, anything like that. But for me, the biggest reason why I wanted to do this video is just so I can just kind of look back on it at the end of the year and then see if I held myself accountable and if I reached any of my goals. So with that, we are going to get started with my personal 21 goals. Okay, so for my first goal, I said that I wanted to focus more on my physical health. Within this goal, I kind of wrote like different bullet points on certain things that I wanted to achieve achieve or improve on throughout the year. So I wrote down first and foremost that I need to get into some sort of fitness routine. Growing up, I didn't really play any sports, but I was a dancer. So dance was pretty much my exercise throughout my life. And now that I'm definitely not dancing as heavily as I used to, I notice that, you know, I am not the most physically fit. And I'm not saying appearance wise, you know, like that's a whole different story. But just like having my body be healthy and being able to like maintain endurance and not have to breathe heavily after I literally go up the stairs one time like that's what I mean. So this year I really want to try and get a good fitness routine going. Something that's not too difficult, but also something that will just get me moving and get me going. And the other things that I wanted to do when focusing on my physical health were to stay hydrated. I'm so bad at drinking water. I barely drink one of these in a whole day. And that's not good. I know it's not good. So I want to focus on staying hydrated, drinking a few of these a day. And then the last two things that I wrote down within focusing on my physical health were to take care of my skin really trying to hone in on like a good skincare routine and then the last one was to work on my posture even when I try to like sit up straight my back just hurts so much because it takes so much work for me to try and sit up straight it's just how my body has been naturally for the past 20 years so trying to fix that it's not going to work overnight but it's something that I want to try and fix and try to do a little more research on throughout the year so that that it can slowly start to get better. My second goal for the new year is to limit my time on social media. This is something that I've been trying to work on this past year actually and it's definitely been a lot better for me just mentally I would say. But what I started doing is kind of setting a timer on any social media apps that I knew that I used a lot throughout the day. That way once I reach like let's say 30 or 45 minutes on Instagram then the little timer thing goes off on my phone and it says like you've reached your limit for the day and then you have an option to keep going and ignoring it but you know you just have to stay disciplined if you really want to follow those timers and another thing I want to start doing is take breaks all together from social media maybe pick like a few days a month where it's just a completely social media free day it's just a great way to kind of hit a reset button and you know it just gives you more time to focus on yourself I think it'll be good my third goal for this year is to start journaling. I think that could make a significant impact on just kind of how I view things because I mean I'll be the first to say it I know I'm not a super positive bubbly person like some other people are and I know I'm probably never going to get there but I definitely want to kind of start getting a more positive outlook on a lot of things and I think that just taking time to write down something that made me happy in my day or something good that happened I think that could just really help me be a better person 
person because that's something I definitely want to work towards. My fourth goal is to start listening to music more. Music has always been like such a great escape for me. I always love listening to music, usually sad songs. I don't know, it just lets out a lot of emotions, but it's like, it's a good feeling. I feel like this year, I really haven't been listening to music that much. It's just something that I want to do and I miss music. My fifth goal for this year is to show more appreciation towards others. I feel like I don't tell people enough how much I appreciate them and that's something I definitely feel like I need to do. You know, this past year I had so much time to just like reflect on things and just really think about the people in my life. I feel like I just need to show my appreciation more. To go along with that, my sixth goal is to take more time to reach out to others. This past year I did not take time to reach out to others because I don't really know how to explain it. It just became such a hassle for me to even like pick up my phone and try to start a conversation with someone. I was in this mentality where I was like, I don't feel like doing this because like, what's the point if we're just gonna have a conversation for a few minutes and that's it. Like, what's the point if I can't even see them in person? It was just kind of this ongoing battle with myself and this year, even though, I mean, we still got the whole COVID situation going, you know, it's not gonna miraculously disappear once it's January 1st, 2021, as much as we'd all love it to be that way. Taking more time to reach out to others, be like, hey, let's FaceTime, let's do this. I think that'll help me a lot more because although it's not, you know, that in-person contact, it's still, you know, being able to see their faces and hear their voices. It's also just another way to like show like, hey, I'm still here. I still care about you. Even if I didn't talk to you for like months, <laughs> My seventh goal is to stay consistent with career development. So when I decided to take a gap year, I told myself that I would still continue to do research kind of career wise, whether it would be like researching different companies, seeing different internship opportunities that may be out there. Also taking time to just develop myself, whether it's like reviewing interview skills, touching up my resume, different things like that. So I definitely think that'll be helpful for me. My eighth goal goal is to stay committed to YouTube. I'm still shocked that I actually went along with this whole thing because never in a million years would I think that I'd actually go for it. Sometimes you just gotta be like, you know what? This has been something that I've been wanting to do for years. So why not just go for it? And you know, what better year than 2020 to just go for something, you know? This is definitely something that I want to stay committed to and keep doing because I'm finding so much joy and happiness from doing it. It's a nice creative outlet that I never tried before and now that I've tried it I absolutely love it my ninth goal is to start waking up earlier I am NOT a morning person at all like as much as I try to be I am NOT I'm definitely a nighttime person I have never had a morning in which I woke up early and actually felt happy about waking up early it is such a struggle to get out of bed if I want to even wake up up at like nine in the morning. I want to start waking up earlier so I kind of make use of all the hours I have within a day. My 10th goal is to redo my room. Right now we are in my childhood bedroom. I definitely don't want to redo my room too much so it still kind of has that like whole childhood vibe to it in a sense. I don't want to redo my room completely just because I know I'm going to be moving out within the next few years anyway. So what I want to do is like maybe change up the walls, just the color schemes. On to my 11th goal. It is to focus on organization and structure. I wouldn't say I'm the most organized person, but I know that having organization and structure with anything just relieves so much stress for me and it just makes things so much easier for me. So knowing that that organization and structure actually helps me be more productive and be less stressed, it's definitely something that I want to make sure I implement through my daily life this next year because I think I'll just be able to get so much more done and I'll be able to have such a better mindset and it's just 
We want positive 2021 vibes. All right, on to goal number 12. It is to create a new Google Calendar. My 13th goal is to try something new. One thing I wrote down is to maybe start photography. That's something that's always interested me. I just never kind of took initiative to do anything about it. So that's definitely something I want to try in 2021. My 14th goal is to go back to college. This one is one I can definitely say is going to happen in the fall semester because I cannot wait to go back no matter how stressful college can be at times it's definitely something that I have been missing so can't wait to go back my 15th goal is to not take school too seriously that's definitely something I want to focus on when I go back to college is to keep reminding myself that like you know striving to get all A's is it's a great goal but it's not something that I should be so stressed and worried about because all that stress is not worth it my 16th goal is to to live in my first apartment. Right now the plan is for me and my roommates to get an apartment for the next school year. So that's definitely gonna be super exciting because you know, I've never lived in an apartment by myself or with anyone else. So I think it'll be a fun experience. My 17th goal is to rush in the fall. Okay, hello. Sorry for that. Um, so my phone ran out of storage and so I had to quickly airdrop it to my computer, which that took about like 30 minutes. And now we are losing daylight because it is 3.55 and it, it already gets dark. So, okay. Anyway, we are down to the last four goals and these are probably some of my favorite goals I have set for myself. For my 18th goal, I said that I want to use my time more efficiently and purposefully. One example I could think of right off the bat is whenever I would do any of my schoolwork or try to study, there would be so many times where I'd be tempted to just grab my phone and just start scrolling through social media. I definitely don't want to keep doing that because that's just wasting my precious time that I could be using to get studying done. So then I'm done much faster and then I could spend more time with other people. And yeah, just with everyday life, I feel like I should focus on what I'm doing at the moment so that way I have much more time for other things that I may want to do. My 19th goal is to focus more on my mental health. So I'm definitely a person that gets very stressed out and very overwhelmed a lot because I put a lot of high expectations just on myself on my own. Sorry my voice is cracking so much I don't know why. Probably not drinking enough water as always. <laughs> I feel like doing all these other different steps that I have within my goals for this year will definitely help improve my mental health because I'll definitely have a lot more time to just focus on myself, really take advantage of those self-care days. And I feel like just, you know, being able to talk to people more I think will help too. And yeah, my 20th goal for 2021 is to live in the moment. <laughs> I have given this advice out to so many people so many times, yet I am one of the people that struggle with it the most. I'm the type of person that always worries about the future. I always think so far ahead. Like literally all I can think about is like after college, like where am I gonna move? Where am I gonna live? Where am I gonna work? I think way too far ahead in the future. That obviously stresses me out even more. And then I don't take time to really focus on the present moment. So I feel like, you know, just living in the present, I really need to take my advice. I like to think that, you know, whatever's meant to happen will happen. And if I'm taking so much time to worry about the future that I don't necessarily have total control over, then what's the point? Just gotta live in the present, live in the moment, and everything will happen the way it's supposed to. All right, so we are down to the last goal for 2021 and that is number 21 to find myself this is a goal that I don't think I'll be able to reach just within 2021 I feel like it's just an ongoing process I overthink everything so that's great wow I am a mess <laughs> I don't know, I can't help but just laugh. I think that in order for me to find myself, I definitely, you know, want to take all these different goals into consideration and I feel like they're going to set a good path for me to really focus on myself and do things that will kind of change me for the better and be able to figure out who I truly am. So with that being said, those are all my goals for 2021. Wow, that was a lot. 
I know that I know what I want to accomplish this year and I'm hoping somewhere in this video some of you guys found some inspiration for what you may want to do in the new year. Cheers to 2021. I know I said it in my last video but I really truly hope that this is the best year yet and it's going to have so many positive outcomes for everyone. So to end this video as I always say be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more and comment down below what's one of your goals for the new year. I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Just say it. Hey, just say it. Okay! I don't know how to end this. <laughs> what was that? Hello. Oh my gosh, let's see. I don't know what my makeup looks like. It probably looks terrible because the lighting kept changing so much. It's like getting dark, but then there's snow. So it's like really reflective and it's just, okay, bye. We could be dancing in the stars. We could be floating all the way. As long as I'm safely in your arms. And it don't really matter where we stay. Don't